Today's problem to fix is changing out the dirty sand in this swimming pool filter. I will be replacing out the sand with filter balls. Yeah, look how easy. I'm afraid it's a little bit more involved than that. According to their website, filter balls are made from recycled proprietary thermoplastic fibers. They are appropriate for use in pools and spas and are fully backwashable and recyclable. They are designed to replace sand. Made in the USA. What caught my eye? One pound bag of filter balls replaces 100 pounds of sand. Let's do this. This is the filter that I'm going to be replacing the sand on. If you look at the top under model number, media required is 250 pounds of sand. So if this sand filter requires 250 pounds of sand and one pound of filter balls replaces 100 pounds of sand, this filter needs two and a half bags of filter balls. Ordering the filter balls was easy and receiving them even easier. You know what I mean if you've ever had to haul sand around or pay extra for weight. As you can see, they are small and they're firm and they seem to hold their shape really well. This piece of paper came with each order and on the back it has directions for startup. Only six steps. I had a little bit more than that. If your filter uses this type of under drain, then you can't use the filter balls. You have to have the laterals. Six steps is what they list. Well, let's get on with my steps. Here are the supplies that I needed for this project. Oh, come on, you knew this was coming. Safety first. You do not want it to come on while you're working on it. At the bottom of the tank, locate the drain cap. Turn it counterclockwise a half turn. This is to release any pressure that still may be in the tank. Then take off the cap completely. If you can unscrew your waist hose, go ahead and do that now. I didn't have to do that with this one. It's attached, so of course I'm going to leave it. Next, unscrew the unions that connect the piping to the ports. If you don't have unions, you're going to have to saw through the piping to cut it off. Sorry, been there. Who do you think put these unions on this pump? Take your screwdriver and lefty loosey the two screws from the clamp or a collar. Keep track of the screws, bolts, and the vinyl protector caps. Put them someplace safe. If your screw is stuck, try spraying it with WD-40 and then tap it with the handle of the screwdriver. Hopefully the WD-40 and the tapping will loosen all that corrosion. Okay, now that the unions are loosened and the clamp is removed, we can now gently, and I mean gently, twist the multi-port and then pull up. Now don't pull too fast or too hard or you're going to break the laterals at the bottom of the tank. Remember that Fraser episode? Twist and then pull. Stop here. You see these black O-rings? You don't want to lose them. They tend to pop out. There's one on each union and there's a valve O-ring on the tank right here. Here's a better picture of it. So while the water is draining from the tank, now is a good time to give the control valve a good cleaning. 
To remove all the hard water stains and green mess, I just used a little bit of vinegar in a bucket of water and a scrub brush. With the O-rings off, clean the area with a small brush. Remove all the old Teflon tape and replace it with new tape. I've read that the filter balls will last as long or longer than sand. So now would be the time to replace any damaged O-rings. Give all the O-rings a nice coat of oil ring lubricant. This is a good one that I use. You may have to replace O-rings that are cracked, damaged, or just stretched out. I had to do that with this one for my Cyclass. Luckily, I got the O-ring that I usually replace on my water hose and it fit perfectly. This is the next day. I knew I needed to be well rested to scoop out all that ugly wet sand. Be sure to wear gloves. There are contaminants in this used up sand. At this point, I was going to suggest using duct tape to cover up this hole, but don't bother. The tape falls off and there's really no reason because this is how the filter works. The way this sand filter works is the red arrows, that's the unfiltered water from your pool. It goes through the sand filter through the media which is sand or the filter balls, gets cleaned, then it goes through the laterals, up and out comes the clean filtered water. Scoop after scoop, that's the way I did it. If I got any sand in that pipe, well, I'm going to remove that and clean it out anyway. But I really didn't get that much in there. I removed several buckets of sand. Hopefully, for this filter, this will be the last time using sand. What would have made this job a lot easier? You got it, a wet dry vac. With most of the sand scooped out, you'll eventually see the tops of the laterals. Carefully pull up the pipe, then using a garden hose, rinse all the arms of the laterals. So this is how it works. Carefully rotate the lateral up the pipe. If you can't rotate it, then it probably needs another rinse to remove some of that sand. Once you lift the pipe out, give it another good rinse. In fact, I gave everything a really good rinse and then let it dry in the sun. Using your small brush, go through each lateral and try to brush off as much sand as you can. But really, you're not going to get 100% of the sand off. Check for any breaks, and if they're really bad, now's a good time to replace it. So rotate everything back up. Okay, now that everything is clean, time to put this thing back in its tank. With the clean tank back on its support stand, and the drain cap back on, Next is to replace the pipe and laterals back inside the tank. Carefully rotate the laterals to their down position. Finally, we're here! The fun part! So place the plastic bag over the sandpipe. You don't want them clogging your plumbing. Then start tossing those filter balls in. So much easier than pouring bags of sand in, that's for sure. After placing two bags of filter balls in the tank, I marked it on the outside how high it was. And then the three, of course, reflects three bags. 
This is what it looks like with three bags of filter balls in this tank. In this video, you can see that I pushed some of the balls up against the tank. That's so that I can film it easier. But after each bag, I did properly mark the outside of the tank. So let's replace the top multi-port valve, remove the plastic bag, make sure that the o-ring for the tank is on and lubricated. Connect the opening in the valve to the top of the pipe. Okay, we all saw it, the o-ring falling off. If your tank's o-ring looks like this, it's time to get a new one. So the black one, the new one is on the left and the old one's on the right. That's how stretched out it was. The new one didn't look anything like the old one, but it still worked. This is how an o-ring is supposed to look and sound. I went ahead and replaced the pressure gauge too. Jeez! Okay, where were we? Then I reconnected the two unions with their new Teflon tape. When you replace the collar, be sure to position it around the edge of the multi-part valve and use the two bolts to tighten it into place. As you do this, alternate be between each of the bolts to make sure that the pressure is equally distributed around e the collar. Tap it a few times. This helps to seat the clamp properly. You know, making sure it's on there right. Attach the backwash hose. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost done. Almost. Turn the circuit breaker back on, but don't turn on the pump yet. Not yet. According to the directions, we're going to rinse the filter balls for two minutes. Turn the valve to the rinse setting. Turn on the pump and let it run for two minutes. With the pump turned off, I'm now going to change the valve to the backwash setting. I'm going to turn on the pump and backwash for two minutes. Okay everybody, this is almost the last step, but the most important. I'm going to switch from backwash to filter. Now don't forget it. You don't want to wake up in the morning and have all the water running out of your pool. I'm not saying it's happened to me. Just don't forget it. Now this really is the last step. With the filter turned on, note the pressure gauge reading. This is your filter's clean, normal running pressure. I just took a photo of it. When the pressure increases 5 to 7 psi, it's time to backwash. Thanks for coming along with me on this DIY.